I am Noah Bombard, and here's what's happening in the ET Newsroom Wednesday, September 8th. Well, the Democratic and Republican candidates for uh, State Senator Susan Tucker's seat uh, faced off in the Eagle Tribune uh, newsroom yesterday. We have that video exclusively at eagletribune.com. You can find that up online right now. There are actually two separate debates, uh, one between the Republican candidates and then one between the Democratic candidates. Now, while the two Republican candidates uh, took time uh, basically uh, laying out their views, uh, the Democratic candidates uh, kind of ganged up on uh, Representative Barry Feingold, who's uh, running for uh, Senator Tucker's seat. At one point, while Feingold was talking about negotiations in the city of Lawrence, uh, Jack Wilson actually interrupted him and asked, were you personally involved with that? State. You've and met with the unions? You've met with the unions in the, May, in the discussions with, with the city during the during negotiations? You sat in the discussion, the no, negotiations. No, no, no. Okay. But nothing's happened. Point. No, I want to make the, the, the point. The people are dying. Uh, kind of a, a little uh, match uh, going on there for a little bit before our own uh, Brian Messenger, who was moderating the debate, uh, sort of steered the discussion back on uh, topic. It was a very vigorous discussion. You definitely want to check that debate out online. A little uh, political drama brought to you by the Eagle Tribune. We'll talk about a full house. Uh, Mayor William Lantigua in Lawrence along with about 200 supporters, packed City Hall last night for a city council meeting where councillors were to vote on three appointments made by the mayor. They fit about 100 uh, supporters uh, in the City Hall chamber. You can see from the photo they're all uh, holding signs that were uh, apparently written uh, by the same person. In the end, the mayor did get what he wanted with all three of those appointments being approved by the city council. Uh, city councillor LaPlante was the only one who objected to uh, all three of those. You can read much more detail on exactly what happened at that meeting and what the mayor had to say to the city council. That story's up online right now. Well, if you're looking for those debate videos, you can find them attached to the stories that are up online or go under our video tab and find them there. Just a reminder, you can find all this content and a lot more at eagletribune.com right now.